Hi, today I'd like to show you how to play You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC. I'm tuned to G, G, D in the middle, high G. They are often tuned down a half step, but the most recent uh, videos that I've seen, the ones that come up first on YouTube, are actually tuned to G. So that's great, works great for us. I'm going to show you the easy part of the song first, the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. And then I'll show you the intro at the end, which is a little bit more complicated. The verse and the chorus and the pre-chorus can be played basically with one finger. I'll play it for you first, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So the verse part is open G, and then C, which is on the 5th fret, twice, and then open G, and then C again, then open G again, and quickly to 7. So I'll do that slow. One more time slow. Once you're there, you go back to the open G twice, 7, open again, 7, open. We'll do that slow, so you got to put those two together, do them slow. And it's like a circle, it just keeps on going around. And a couple of those uh, zeros are really quick, like uh, this one. It's going right to the seven there. So if you don't get the whole chord in there, don't worry about it. If you just get the low string, first few times you're doing it, or forever for that matter, it'll be fine. And what makes the pre-chorus different is not much. It does exactly the same thing, but when you get to the seven, you keep playing it for two measures, which would be counted like one, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, like that. And uh, if you couldn't hear me, that was one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. I'll do that for you. It's that simple. Now we're into the chorus. Still basically a one finger song if you want it to be. I mean, you can use three fingers if you wish or do whatever you like, or, or I double up sometimes because my strings are pretty heavy, but whatever you want to do, it's still basically one fret. So the chorus open string for low open first, and then we do a climb up two, four five and then next string open next and then the top string open then the fret four on the low string middle string open high string open and then fret two very quickly up to fret seven full chord I'll play that for you yeah and you can go like down up there with that uh, open low string and then the rest of the chord you can go up if you like 
that's what feels natural to me. I'll do that one more time very slow. Okay, and then that goes back down to two, four, five, open middle, open high again. Four, open middle, open high. And then it goes four, two, open. And then you're back at the beginning of that part. So that's kind of like a circle two. I'll play that for you. Slow. one you would just hit the uh, full chord so it'd be like so how you get back into the song is by not doing by just doing that first one right across so I'll do that again for you You need to play the main body of the song. The um, solo part, it just goes staccato. Staccato means you don't let notes last as long, and it's over the chorus. So you go like. Like that. You're still playing the chorus, but you just make it very, very quick so the notes don't sustain too long. And that's only for the first part while he plays the first few licks. And then once he gets warmed up into the solo, they go back to the uh, the regular chorus, you know. Like that. And when you're doing that uh, five, open, open, you might want to up pick on the high string. It allows your pick to come up and get back to the low string very quickly. I'm exaggerating there, obviously. You can, of course, just play downstrokes, but you do have to move your hand pretty quick to the four. That four is a little anticipated. That means it comes in a little earlier. If it wasn't anticipated, it'd sound like this. Anticipated. Right. Okay, so that's it for that part. Now the truly fun part, which is the intro, and it is doable. So we go up here to the 12th fret, and what we're going to do is we're going to play the 12th fret all the way across, and then we're going to mute basically six beats is how I look at it. Basically, actually a measure, pretty much. Then we're going to add the 14 up here. We're going to hit that. Those are all down strokes. And then we're going to go up and down on the 12. Okay. And then we're going to play a little lick. Best way to do it is if you can grab 12 with your third finger and 12 on the high string with your little finger and your third finger on 11. And you're gonna pull off with your little finger. That works for me. If that doesn't work for you, you might wanna try switching fingers to your second, first, and third. So back to the way I do it. And that, I like doing it that way too because it leaves my first finger ready to go to seven, but it's got to go pretty quick. Right? And there's a quick uh, ten, seven. And then there's a lick. Seven. 
10 slide to 11, 7 on the middle, 10 on the low, 7 on the low. So I'll play that whole thing for you really slow. So when you've done it the first time, you go right back. And you stop right there. You don't have to do that uh, 10, 7, or that 10, 11, 10, 7. So that part is tricky. You might want to do that really slow a few times, but you can get pretty close. Not perfect, but pretty close. Hope you have fun with that. Have a great day. Bye.